guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 23 and 24 of March Comes In Like a Lion, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 23 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. That's me, but with this. This thing at 10 a.m. in the morning, oh my god, I'm like this. It should be summer, right? <sighs> it just feels like he has a little more like have been this stuck even though kitty mm. Daddy, did you have that no you're you're showing the bud So shouldn't Hina be starting high school already, or is she still in middle school? Hmm? <laughs> but still, congratulations, Ray. <laughs> oh, you look so cute with this little bag. No, oh, I've missed this child even though it's been psh, a week. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> 
Yes, but sometimes you have to take risk. Oh my god, what the freak is still in my eye? It's like I can't get it out. Jesus. I was about to say they look more like 3D-esque, but they all look so good, like upgraded. I mean, of course, the quality. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. So don't be too hard on yourself. It's okay to lose. It happens to all of us. You know, honestly, that's a good question. I, I feel like Ray has fun in his own way when playing, but I think since Shogi is more brain heavy and not to like something like tennis or golf, how I'm still wondering how I when I was in high school enjoyed golf. You know, I blame Wii Sports, yeah. Poor baby. Hmm. It's supposed to be um murder on the express or something. Yeah, I think that was. I've never seen that movie before. Heck, you could have spoiled the whole thing for me. takes it day by day. Especially Soya, because to me, I'm not gonna say he feels empty, but he feels very like cold and distant. I mean, of course, when Ray looked at him, he felt instantly snow and cold, but. Mm -hmm.
And of course, he's in a lot more pressure than anyone else. Mm-hmm. What else would he be doing? Yeah, but then it's also going to make people hungry at the same time. <laughs> mm. So then what does soya use? Sugar cubes? Sir, are you? Uh, 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 <laughs> Do you know how much sugar that is? Well, surely Soya is definitely a diabetic. I mean, if L from Death Note is a diabetic, uh, psh, he's got to be a diabetic. I can't imagine what he eats in a normal day. Well, yeah, they, they look like sugar cubes.
Mm. Yeah. And then corn starts maybe. I mean, cause isn't ramen just basically soda, but better than our soda? Cause our soda has tons of sugar in it. <laughs> really? Oh no, oh my god, I'm stupid. The candy. Oh. But it looks good. Like a melt in your mouth. So, almost like a mint. But it tastes like the soda. <laughs> but then it also makes you wonder, especially when they're making the drink, like, how in the world do you put in, you know, like something to taste like strawberry or banana or melon or, um, grape? <laughs> mhm. Mm it just reminds me of the first time when I cooked. <laughs> And I was so bad at it, but... <laughs> I don't know, but it might taste bad. 
<laughs> of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, for a returning episode for y'all, but not for me, it's just continuing. But still, it's a returning episode, I don't care what you say. This is good. Oh my god, so uh, the opening, mwah, like, oh, this was a good episode. I really like the fact that, you know, I mean, he technically cooked, but it was just candy or like a mint, but still, you kind of count that as cooking, as I said. It also reminds me of the time when I first cooked. I remember, like, I didn't really necessarily start cooking my my food for me and my parents until, like, middle school, high school, but really predominantly more in high school. Because we never, the one thing that I hate about my high school is we never had a, um, a home ec room. Well, no, we did, but... Are I think by the time I got to the high school because I moved back here in 2009 um, everything was taken away for us so we didn't have anything and it kind of sucked but um, it, it worked I learned everything from my mom at the end of the day no matter what I'm busy then where did I learn how to cook yeah, we were talking about cooking. I did that. Yes. Bravo. Thank you. I'm good. I love you. Love you too. Your number one fan. I know. Look at the cat. Okay, hold on. Um, that's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay. Let's talk about this real quick. So, uh, like I said, Ray and a bad cook. Hina, Hina's a good cook. She's pretty average. Akari just, like, best freaking cook of the series. I'm sorry. I think, like, anything that she's made, and especially when Hina helps her, it looks so freaking good. I mean, like, any other anime that I've seen, of course anime food is gonna look good and you're like oh my god I want to make that like teach me how to make that ish especially like when you know 
We, because this happened to all of us. Maybe it was, you know, whatever anime you were watching at the time, but this happened to me. And I've never made it before. And I think maybe one day, if I really truly learn how to make it. Okay. So this is from. I think, well, what year was this? I think this was like. I was maybe. 10 years old. And I love this movie a lot. And I still love it. And I haven't watched it in a long time. But maybe I'll rewatch it. Okay. So you know the. Um, I think it's a pie or something from Kiki's Delivery Service when Kiki had to make or deliver the pie thing to this girl for her birthday that her um the Kiki and the girl's grandmother um made together and such I, like I said I think it's a pie I'm not 100% sure because I've never really truly watched the Japanese version of Kiki I've <laughs> I've only grown up <laughs> on the English one of hearing um Kirsten Dunst play Kiki and such. So when I saw this thing for the first time, I was like, oh my god, I would love to like make this. I don't know what's in it, but it looks good. I mean, that's the same thing with like um, Panyo and, you know, having like really good authentic ramen or um, uh, I'm about to say what it's called, onigiri or anything good where, you know, especially at the time when I was watching, uh, you know, most animes in the 90s and when it was Mary, oh, like hella Americanized and instead of you seeing, you know, like a rice ball, you were seeing um, Ash Ketchum catch a sandwich down the hill because, uh, okay, but yeah, I, I'm glad that, you know, Ray got the opportunity with his, you know, club mates to make Ramade. It's sweet. And he's going to remember that for like the rest of his life. Every moment that he's gone through in this show, he will remember for the rest of his days. Now, I want to talk about Soya real quick. Soya is a very <clears throat> high ranking. I like to consider him currently right now. And yeah, he in a way he is. He is number one in the world of Shoki. And something tells me from what that preview is, they can't, like, when they get to the top, they could be, like, at age 29, 30, maybe even 14 as of a youngest or whatever. Um, and let's say you want to talk to your higher ups, your producers, your managers, whatever so on and so forth this is kind of almost like the same thing of how I kind of agreed maybe with like the idol community I'd have to look a little bit more on it um if they want to retire like how how does that go for them especially I, I mean is there a ceremony for someone to retire do they just come out and say hey like I, you know I'm quitting Shogi, like, that's it, no ceremony, no, like, not like, you know, how with some American sports and when, you know, when someone is going into retirement and especially if it's retirement or someone has passed away and they go into the hall of whatever importance, uh, greatest athletes, um, invention inventors ish like that you know big 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 famous thing ish like that you know sometimes that are in museums and it's like that whatever um is it something like that for them like are they um do they get a picture and are they in this museum or like like a shogi museum or is there a picture or not a picture um, I'm thinking about a painting in their honor you know when they are going into retirement do they get this ceremony um and ish maybe this next episode might give it to me and probably not but I don't know I feel like because of the fact is he is that high ranking number one in my opinion um maybe he thinks that he's kind of bored with the game now and he kind of maybe wants to move on from the next phase of his life because that kind of happens with all of us um whatever you're doing as a career and such you maybe want to go into television or you want to just stay at home and chill for the rest of your life and of the rest of your days and have a different routine but i don't know i mean we ain't gonna know until i watch the next episode but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 24.
Okay, episode 24 in 3, 2, 1, go. I just like how colorful this opening is. I mean, okay. Opening one and opening two, especially really opening two, is hella colorful. Opening one is very, well, no, all three openings that I've seen as of right now are very similar to Ray's feelings. Same thing with like, I want to say more of ending two. Um, I might have to relook at ending three, and same thing with ending one. I have to look at it again because I barely kind of remember it now. But ending two, them, them emotional feels like are there? I love it. Hey, boy. <laughs> it's just not written in the cards in the title. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, God. Is that a weasel? Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, that's what you get. stuck in my eye and it's going to be so annoying.
boys. Oh, yeah. The one person, honestly, I really didn't want to see, but I'm glad that we're seeing. But it's the truth, though. <laughs> it's all because of him. No, yeah, because what else can they do? That too. But everybody goes through it differently. Maybe he shouldn't be left alone. God, you're like, seriously, you really are an ass. I like you though, but sometimes you, I just want to punch you in your face. I mean, there are moments where Gotoro can be compassion and sweet. I don't know. Maybe that's what made, you know, Kyoko fall, fall for him. But he and us. And how I think about this moment any time when I see him. He honestly reminds me of that one dude from Nana that I freaking despise. Ugh. <laughs> I just want to punch him in his fucking face and be like, ugh. You know, Ray, honestly, it's a good question. You really have to think about that. Or should you pity him? Is Kyoko? 
or something about your wife. You should wake up. Okay. thinking so much speaking of which She still follows him. Even though to us and to Ray, it seems like he treats her like crap. And you're wondering how can someone, a, a woman, a man, anyone like that, continue on, you know, being with someone like that again and again. But to her, she just thinks it's love. Which never did. That's him. <laughs> Excuse me. I get it. I feel like I did it. Jesus. Maybe he just wants to go for something different. To you guys, but to him, no. He's saving it for a reason. It could almost be like his trump card, maybe? Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah, he's planning something. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Because there's nothing else he could do. Once he put that down, you could just tell there was nothing else that his opponent was able to do. And instantly for Soya, like, probably, what, the quickest match he's ever won? It 
It was. But I think when he was thinking about it logically, that there was no opening that he could use. Killer move. Mm -hmm. You can't do anything else with that. So what else could he do? similar to you kids not even funny uh. <laughs> you gotta love the fan boys <laughs> they so cute <laughs> Give us fangirls to run for our money. <laughs> Did you buy that for his wife? Oh, oh allergies, asthma, it's like that. I would have thought we would have something like that. Because I assumed that with this relationship and because his wife is in the hospital currently right now fighting for her life, that he wouldn't care for her anymore, you know? He like what in his forties? She look how she look my age. I mean, yeah, she might as well. (laughs) 
how she meant to do that. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Mm -hmm. I do. He's probably been stressed as well. <laughs> of course. You could just tell also with his body language that it was frustrating to him. Okay, so let's talk about um, Gotaru, because ma majority of this episode was about him, really more of the second half. Okay, so there's two different ways. You have the Rei POV and you have the Kyoko POV. In Rei's POV and what we've mainly as the audience have seen him, he is an ass. He can be an ass. Like I said, I want to punch him in his mother effing face sometimes. But when he, when we see him through Kyoko's eyes, the stress that he has, the bags that he has in her eyes because he hasn't had sleep, how kind he is to her. The fact that, you know, yes, he couldn't go into the store because of, you know, allergies and this like that. And he asked Kyoko to do that for him. And that even though he's kind of real, like in this relationship with Kyoko, it's not bad as I thought it is. It's more of a one-sided love. He doesn't really, he tolerates her. He doesn't really have any romantic feelings for her. But with her, she's just doing it to lash out at her father. Maybe she might have slowly but surely gotten feelings for him. I think if she really did, yeah, we probably would have had like at least some type of kiss scene. But I don't think so. I, like I said, I think he is in his 40s. His wife looked like she in her, her late 20s. How Kyoko has to at least be at least the same age as me, uh, especially you know her attitude and her and it's not a bad attitude; it's more of a good attitude. <laughs> um, and how mature she is. So she's gotta at least be like. So I'm twenty-seven. Um. Yeah, she's got to be in her mid-twenties. Something tells me that. If Ray is still in high school, she's got to at least maybe be college, possibly. Even though she's not really in college because 
any time we see her is mostly at night. Sometimes during today, during a day when there's a day scene between her and Ray, but mainly she's there at night. So I do, I, I like the fact that we got to see these two in like a very cutesy moment together because they do seem cute together, but not to the point where I'm like, do, do I ship it? Excuse me. It's a little, right now I'm like, no. Because of the fact is I still think he loves his wife truly. Um, so yeah, it, it's very hella one, one sided to me where, um, he, he just wants her company. He needs her company. He's been alone for who knows how long ever since this accident, um, tragically came in and took his wife and, He's probably suffered a lot, and not only with that, but also any other shogi match that he does. He he's he's a type of person who doesn't really show his emotions, but him grabbing her in his sleep and him leaning on her, that's you showing your softer side towards not only Kyoko but us as the audience and stuff. Because when you first meet him, you know you'd be like, "This motherfucking asshole! I want to punch you in your goddamn face!" Like, mm, I hope you die, ish, but. Now seeing him like this, I take that all back. Like I if you would have told me <laughs> if you would have told me that at mm, <laughs> by episode twenty four that I would have been cool with freaking <laughs> I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts. Like, no, no, because I don't like him. No, but I, it's funny how things can just change in an instant for you. I mean, especially with the match with Soya. Like, seriously, like, that was possibly the quickest one that he's had officially in this series. I mean, honestly. Uh, oof, God. Mm -mm. But maybe, you know, I'm kind of hoping, like, next week's episode... Um, Kyoko's able to get out of her, you know, situation of being kept in, you know, ropes-ish. Maybe make him some breakfast. I mean, he's, she's done a couple of nice things for him. And, hell, it would be nice if he was the one to, uh, make her breakfast as a thank you and such. Because, I mean, I really thought that he would have been like, yeah, come to the hospital with me. You know, you, you care for me and I care for you somewhat um I just need someone here right now with me it, it's not because like at first I was thinking like okay he's an older man she's a young mature woman and of course it I, I wouldn't say it's not like of course with the current situation of grooming and everything I didn't think it was like that I was thinking it was just a, oh, okay here's like a 40 something year old man taking advantage of a 20 something year old woman of thinking like okay this is what it truly is to be in love with someone D basically almost like Nana like if you guys have seen Nana especially with um my personal fave Nana and <laughs> well both Nanas are my personal faves but uh I like to call her girly girl Nana and her um, story and her situations of what happened to her and everything with her kind of first love and stuff like that. That's what I was um, picturing with Kyoko. But now it's completely different. So honestly, really, I don't know what could happen with their relationship now, but Honestly, really, who knows? But yeah, this was a really, like, damn good episode. Thank you for giving me this, because I think this was something that I honestly really wanted for, like, the longest time. And just the cute little moments that they have together is honestly adorable. I love how, you know, he could literally go from being the meanest person in the world, but when it comes to Kyoko, he is very soft. He's gentle. He's sweet. His, you know, attitude just changes so freaking quickly like a light bulb like a light switch and you're like is this the same damn guy like are you serious but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode
episodes 23 and 24 of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes 25 and 26. Bye, guys.